Now it's time for the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone, official sponsor of Tiger Athletics. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome to the Mike Norvell Show. Football is a game of resilience. You have to bounce back. Heartbreak a week ago. Joy today, Coach. What a response from your football team against Tulane. And that was exactly what we saw and what we, our message to our guys all through the week is we, we needed to see a response. And, uh, you know, I've told this team you know, throughout the year and their heart, their character, um, the way they pre- have been preparing for games, uh, that's going to show up. And I think we saw that yesterday for 60 minutes and an incredible response from our football team and really played our first complete game. It was a complete game and there was, I guess you could say it began with preparation and you did something you've never done before, nine years as a play caller, a four receiver set. Yeah, you know, there's a couple things we saw in, in our breakdowns that uh, we thought we could get some uh, uh, some matchup uh, uh, advantages throughout and uh, you get young man like Calvin Austin played more extensive time yesterday, um, you know, being able to move Kenny around, uh, you know, playing him at receiver, doing some different things there. I thought that was uh, critical in the game, but uh, you know, it, it all you can always have a, have a great plan, but it comes down to execution. It comes down to, to guys going out there playing at a very high level and offensively, defensively, special teams. I thought our guys did that yesterday. Complete package. The offensive line, by the way, was terrific. And I, I got to tell you, Kenny Gainwell, what a player. The first guy in Memphis history, 100 yards receiving, 100 yards rushing the ball. Turned out to be 200 yards receiving. And the last time anybody did that in all of FBS was 1997. Yeah, it was a special performance. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of things go to that. I thought our offensive line, like you mentioned, did a great job in the run game, uh, really created some nice seams for him. And then in the passing game, he took advantage of his one-on-ones. And uh, that was something that, uh, you know, it was a it was a complete team win and really play, pleased with how Kenny played. It was a special night. And by the way, congratulations. Bowl eligible six years in a row. Here's what's on tap. You're going to love these highlights. This was supposed to be a close game it was just about over at the half inside access guess who was back in town former tiger now bear mike miller (laughs) anthony miller and then we've got the auto zone road ahead which is on the road in tulsa we're back in just a minute stick around You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. A year ago, Tulane was really an unreal opponent. That was one game where the Tigers probably played their worst game of the year. So now you got dual motivation for this one. The heartbreak from last week in Philly, trying to make this a payback game. Your team is ready. Yeah, you know, and this is a really good football team we were playing. We knew it was going to be a great challenge. Uh, yeah, they came in 5-1, and one, had really been dominant. Uh, you know, they, uh, they've got a lot of talented pieces. And, you know, their quarterback uh, did an exceptional job here in the opening drive. We had a couple missed tackles. It was something that we got to continue to, to clean up. But uh, we knew that uh, this was going to be a game that could come down to, to literally one play. Uh, but you, even after the big, the big run by the quarterback, you know, great response. Bryce Huff uh, with a big-time tackle there. We're able to hold him to a field goal, which was critical here early on. Xavier Cullens told me, the linebacker who was so good in this game, he thought that was the turning point, that you held them to just three. Yeah, you know, I mean, anytime they get early momentum, uh, you know, they had a couple big plays, but to be able to, to kind of uh, compose ourselves, go down and, and uh, you know, you hold them to a stop, uh, that was huge. And then, you know, this first drive on the on offense, I was really pleased with our guys. Uh, you know, had a big fourth down conversion. We went on fourth, uh, fourth down twice in this drive. Uh, you know, big, big throw and catch to Coxie and then coming back with Kenny here uh, for the touchdown. Great start to the game. So many people would be asking, why so early on fourth down, the Riverboat Gambler you are? Well, you know, I mean, we thought the numbers worked in our advantage. Uh, you know, uh, we felt like we had some good play calls and, uh, you know, being able to, to get that spark, finish in the end zone. And then, man, what a huge play right here by Austin Hall. Uh, the you know, play before, you saw our, our, our run defense, everybody swarming, and then and the one-handed interception. Oh. Uh, that was absolutely uh, incredible. He may have to go two-way 
like uh, Jojo Dorsey's. And there is Kenny Gainwell and another great catch. Look at how perfectly that ball was put. Yeah, you know, I think uh, Brady probably played his best game. You know, you see these receivers, uh, you know, you know, Calvin Austin with his first, uh, you know, with the first uh, touchdown catch, uh, you know, as a Tiger. But, uh, you know, being able to see these guys create separation and then Brady putting it right where it needed to be with great protection for the O-line uh, was, was, was a great start for our guys. You went for two and Preston Brady. Almost no cigar, and here comes Tulane. They're going to try to come right back, and that is the second big play by the big guy Bryce Huff. Yeah, you know, I, I thought our guys, you know, they played extremely hard. I mean, then this is a challenging, this is a challenging offense we're going against. Uh, you are fourth in the country in rushing. Uh, you know, obviously one of the most explosive offenses uh, in college football, and uh, you know they made a couple plays uh, moving the ball down the field, and uh, you know they responded. But this, uh, I want to, I want to definitely, uh, you know, pay uh, point attention to our kickoff return team. I thought it was great getting Chris Clay books back I mean, uh, you know we had uh, I think three explosive returns last night uh, this was a huge uh, you know a huge uh, spark for us uh, we, we had great field position all night coach Limbo had a wonderful plan and our guys executed it to a, to a high level and then there's big play Antonio Gibson and you're off and running yeah you know it's a big third down conversion there uh, you know and then you know here's another third down conversion with uh, Antonio Gibson and then coming back with uh, Joey Magnifico what, what a catch. throw and catch I mean getting his foot down uh, and then you know obviously being able to finish it up with a shovel pass to Joey great, really special yeah great getting him back and uh, getting back in the end zone uh, Joey's playing at a high level and it was definitely great to see pressure up front and they will have to turn the ball over. And here comes the Mid-South Chevy dealers drive of the game. I tell you, this one of the catches of the year. Uh, third down, uh, you know, I thought the safety got there a little bit early, but McCoxie made an unbelievable catch uh, there on third down. Come back, you know, I thought our, our, our rhythm was really uh, uh, was really nice last night. I mean, we were we were mixing up the tempo, mixing up the pace, uh, and then here on the third down, uh, Calvin Austin got the one-on-one -on -one out on the perimeter. Great throw and catch, uh, you know, big play in, in the game. World-class speedster, but how about the Brady throw because he was about to get hit when he let it go yeah you know sometimes you have to step into those throws and uh you know that was right before the half we had two minutes to go and then huge play thomas pickens with the interception uh you know great blocking by the old line up front uh, you know kenny gets down to the one yard line um, this was a huge sequence because we got the ball to start the second half we were able to put together two touchdown drives right to end to end the first half um, and really proud of how our guys executed there uh, down that final stretch i thought it broke their back and i gotta tell you you went heavy wildcat that time yeah, most, Jojo in there with yeah, you. Yeah, you know, Jojo's done such a great job for us. So, you know, Kenny, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's always good to get the ball in his hands and uh, great blocking by the O-line. Jojo did a nice job, uh, you know, kicking out the edge. And then, you know, obviously Kenny ended up in the end zone. So we look at those numbers and the two forced turnovers and zero turnovers. We thought that would be one of the critical aspects of the game. And you hold the team that averages 288 yards rushing to hardly any. Yeah, you know, it was, a, it was a swarming attack by our defense. Uh, you started with our defensive front, and then, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Coach Fuller had an incredible plan against these guys. Uh, we wanted to be aggressive, and we wanted to attack, and, you know, our guys uh, were able to execute that throughout the night. They executed for sure in the second half as well, and that's where we go next. Stick around. This is the Mike Norvell TV Show. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV Show. A big at the half comfortable by 24 against a team we thought this thing would go down to the wire and a team as we mentioned has been so potent on offense. What did you say to your team? I know you got to finish the game but you you had to feel pretty good. Yeah just we, our focus was on the next play and that was a, that was the entire mentality. Uh, I didn't want anybody looking at the scoreboard really didn't matter just go play the next play uh, to the best of your ability and uh, you know, we got off to a great start here in the second half uh, you know huge play with Kenny Gainwell um, you know once again moved him out to receiver uh, you know they were they did a nice job they got a we had a we had a mishandled snap um, you know which which was a loss of down there and then uh, you know third down Brady with a good decision uh, it was you know, kind of tight in there so he threw the ball away ensuring that we got points and there you go you you, you do it a couple of times a year you already had one successful why there uh, because you know we knew this was an explosive team we wanted to be on the aggressive um, you know I had all the confidence in the world in our defense we talked about the situation there uh, you know in, in our pre in our game day meeting as coaches and that that's where I wanted to try to scale a possession um, you know we just uh, you know they did a good job they got on the ball but look at the response of our defense that's what we're gonna have to be about it's got to be a response sometimes we'll make a call that doesn't work out the right way 
go out there, you focus on the next play, defense with a huge stand, and then offense got uh, right back on the uh, on the aggressive. Uh, you know, nice throw and catch from uh, Brady to uh, to Kenny Gainwell with the big play, and I mean, our guys were really humming. Those quick moves, and he can turn so fast. And here is another big weapon for you, Kadarian Jones. As he's really emerged with Gibson, what a formidable pair. Yeah, you know, I think you look at the receiving core last night, you know, obviously Kenny had a huge night, uh, you know, but look at all the pieces that, that, that made an impact. Uh, Coxie with huge third downs, you know, Kadarian, Antonio Gibson, uh, Joey Magnifico. I mean, it, that's a, it, it's a, it's fun to see that, uh, that, that group emerge and having guys like Calvin that uh, are stepping up, it's uh, really big for this football team. And once again, you look back on the defense and man, you talk about an attack. I mean, this quarterback really made him uncomfortable, was everything. Everybody was uh, was tracking the ball, you know, playing at a high level, and you know, you, I, what I loved is just a swarm of all the blue jerseys. That, you know, every time the ball was handed off, uh, you know, everybody you know rallying to the quarterback. It was, uh, you know, I thought I thought our guys did a wonderful job. Seven tackles for loss. I don't know how many hurries, two sacks. I mean, they were a dominating group up front, and everybody stayed home. You saw on the play before where they went a little trickery with the reverse. No one was undisciplined. Everybody in their spot. Putting yeah. pressure on McMillan oh, on a, a regular basis. Yeah, I thought this was a huge play too. Third down, we came with the we came with the blitz. Austin got the pressure, and then uh, you know uh, Everett Cunningham there for the stop, and then forcing him into a fourth and extremely long situation. Pressured again, and then uh, there's Quindell Johnson, who's really stepped up. Unbelievable game in special teams defensively as well. Uh, you know, a guy that's being a great weapon for us. You know, Johnson and Collins, man, these are two guys that are starting to really come on for you and. When did you think you were going to take Ken Gainwell out? Well, you know, we we know we understood that we had to keep playing the game, and uh, it was all about a mindset for our guys. And I, I didn't want I didn't want anybody to feel like we were letting up. Now, one of the things that we did a, a nice job of was managing the clock. Um, you know, we wanted to shorten the game. We were able to control possession with the running game. Um, you know, there we had the third down where we, we were able to draw the pass interference. And then, uh, you know, here on the last third down, um, you know, the, to, to kind of end the third quarter, uh, you know, great job. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the, the fourth quarter, start the fourth quarter. Great job by Kenny Gainwell, uh, you know, and, and Brady with an unbelievable uh, location on the ball and uh, just a tremendous finish. And his third touchdown of the game and this historic 300 and seven yard night. I mean, we, we, I don't know if we're going to see those ever again. Look at that play. Well, I, I hope we do. And, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, Kenny, when you sit there and you watch the way that he played, it's, uh, it's great to know that he's just a redshirt freshman. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of development, a lot of things he can continue to improve. But uh, uh, really pleased with our guys. And, you know, I thought it was a dominating performance in all phases. And, uh, you know, the work that went into it is what, what I'm most proud of. And I want to reemphasize that was a really good football team you just demolished. And look at these numbers 358 passing yards, two weeks in a row now that, uh, that Brady White has gone over 300 yards. Yeah, you know, I think Brady's playing at a really high level. 358 yards, five touchdowns, and, and port, most importantly, no interceptions. Um, you know, you look at the balance that we were able to have. You know, they, to, you know, we knew Tulane would come in and try to stop the run. We had to take advantage of it in the passing game. Uh, the offensive line, everybody's involved in the protections. Um, you know, you see see guys that are really emerging. Thomas Pickens, I thought, played really well. Got the big interception. Austin Hall's interception. Uh, really swarming those guys uh, with our defensive front. I thought they played an extremely high level stopping the run and then getting, getting pressure on their quarterback. And really, despite the loss last week, everything, all those goals are still out there for you. By the way, boys, he lost last night. Yeah, you know, I mean, our focus is just to, to today. And, uh, you know, it was like we talked about our guys last week. I'm not worried about five steps ahead. I want to play the best fo football that we can each and every week, continue to improve, and it takes preparation to do that. Our guys prepared, and it, it paid off last and night. It certainly did. We've got a little inside access coming your way. Look who's back in town. That's Anthony Miller. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Last night at the Liberty Bowl, Paxton Lynch was there. Gennard Avery was there. Guys are coming back all the time. And earlier in the week, Anthony Miller was in town. The now Chicago Bear loves to give back. And he's talked about how his guys helped to change the culture. It's just like the kids, they, they need this type of motivation. They need to see that, um, you know, people from the same area can, can make it. And uh, 
you know, is this guy like me, D'Angelo, uh, I, I know we have a big impact on, you know, what what they think uh, when, when it comes to facing challenges and, you know, just um, accomplishing things. Me being from Memphis, I, I made it and I'm out here you know, uh, you know, stun just just doing what we do uh, when, when we get it when we get on a platform. So uh, I'm just showing them that they can do it too. I think we're really good. We got a lot of uh, young guys uh, out there that are you know uh, really doing their thing. Uh, uh, 19, uh, Kenny, he's he's doing his thing. Uh, like it's just crazy to see these guys maturing and. Um, out here making plays. He's not afraid to let it fly, you know what I mean? He gives his receivers a chance, and that's what I like about him. Uh, you know, it, it takes a lot for a quarterback to put trust in his receivers to make plays, and he does that. And uh, I know they'll get better uh, as time goes on. It's, it's just chemistry and uh, continuous work. I talk to the guys often uh, each and every week, you know, just to make sure their head's on straight um, and they're, you know, taking care of business. But uh, I believe we set the culture. When I was there, we just set the culture for how things should be uh, a winning culture. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to see us continue. You know, this is one of my favorite things, seeing uh, former Tiger greats come back and uh, you get a chance to support our players, support our community, uh, You know, to, to see how uh, this program is continuing to progress. I mean, you have guys like Anthony Miller that are going on and having success in the NFL and just provides new opportunities. Uh, you get, you, know, you sit there and you look at you know, losing two of the greatest running backs in Memphis history, Tony Pollard, uh, you know, Daryl Henderson, and now the emergence of Kenny Gainwell. Uh, you know, obviously, we know Patrick Taylor, but the, 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 st the stars of the past, you know, really helping push the stars of the future and it's just always great seeing our, our uh, great Tigers come back and be a part of our program and, and help and push us to, to future success. And I, I really love the way they stay connected and Anthony Miller certainly is doing that. We take a break and when we come back it's the AutoZone Road Ahead. It's not easy. It's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Six years in a row. We're getting used to this, but it's great. Bowl eligibility every year you've been here, we've gone to a bowl. Yeah, you know, it's, it's always a, a great milestone to be able to get that sixth win and uh, know that we're going to be able to extend one more game for these seniors. And, you know, it is becoming the new standard, and that's something that we're proud of, we're excited about. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I forgot to, to congratulate the team <laughs> and uh, after, after the game with that, but I'll, I'll hit them with it today. Um, but uh, we're, we don't want to take that for granted. It is special to be bowl eligible six straight years. Uh, you know, the program's definitely heading in the right direction. But I know we've got higher aspirations like conference championships and it starts with the AutoZone road ahead next week in Tulsa Oklahoma here is a team I know they're two and five but they've hung with Oklahoma State they hung with Cincinnati last night and uh uh, this is a ball club that should have beaten SMU. Yeah, you know, this is, it's a talented squad, and we know that uh, every year that we play them, it's a uh, it's always a, uh, a tough matchup. But this is a team that uh, you do some unique things schematically that definitely presents challenges. So uh, we're gonna have to have another wonderful week of preparation. Our guys gonna have to we're going back on the road. I have to go and play at a very high level, uh, but I know our guys are excited about the opportunity. They have a different kind of a defense, don't they? They do. They run a uh, uh, basically a, 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 a three three five defense with three safeties that uh, you know really. Is, is unique and, and they've got some talented players up front so uh, you know once again we're gonna have to uh, do a great job in, in, in putting together a plan for our players and then being able to go out, out there and execute it next Saturday and so far you've been brilliant on the road well, I mean, our guys, they, you know, they, they, they embrace the opportunity. You know, obviously our last conference game, we didn't play as well as we wanted to. I didn't get off to a very good start, so uh, we're going to have to make sure we get that corrected. And, um, you know, I know our guys, you know, the, the, all of our focus can go on this, two, uh, this Tulsa squad um, and that we know has some talented players. Yeah, well, congratulations, 6-1. and one. Uh, This has already been just a fun, fun year. A reminder, that game is at 6 o'clock. Tulsa is not that far. It's your old stomping grounds. You've got to start there. Uh, and, uh, and you can make that trip rather easily. We'd love to see you there. If not, we'll see you right back here next Sunday night. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone, official sponsor of Tiger Athletics. Visit them at AutoZone.com and start the job fast with free same-day store pickup and next-day delivery. Get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery.
Subway, and Chick-fil-A. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield IMG College. Under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Memphis, the use of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the University of Memphis and Learfield IMG College. The preceding has been a Learfield IMG College presentation of the Tiger Sports Network.